on Johnny's thigh before she stood up sensuously. She leaned against him. It's not an invitation. It's a promise. He put his arms around her. She felt the hard kiss he gave her, almost adding to her bruises. Hard but hot. She let her lips melt against his, shivering at the contrast to the dull cold of gunmetal she felt pressed between her shoulder blades. They separated slowly, and Johnny looked up the stairs before starting to climb into the blackness. After watching for a few moments, Elsa went back into the reception room. She picked up the phone and cleared her throat. Quickly, she said, her voice shaking. Give me the police department. Quickly. She waited, taking a last drag of her cigarette before grinding it hard into a little heart-shaped silver ashtray. Hello? Police? Help? Please? This is Mrs. Collins, 2003 Finlay Avenue. Someone. He works for my husband. He just gave me a lift home. Then he starts demanding to see. Yes, that's right. Peter Collins' wife. He just came. The sound of a gunshot rang out. Elsa screamed. Another shot echoed around the house. Quickly! Oh, God, come quickly! I don't know what he'll do next. My husband, Peter! What's happened? She screamed out the words, then returned the receiver to its cradle. A minute later, Johnny stood at the top of the stairs. Elsa looked up at him. Is it over? Johnny nodded and walked down the stairs. He moved past her like an automaton and into the reception room. He put the gun back under his jacket and, facing the window, pulled out his pack of cigarettes. His hands shook as he lit one. Poor Johnny, she thought. He still believed that she loved him, that they would share the Collins millions. Elsa sneered at the thought, then at the memory of her husband. Not that he'd been a bad man. It was just not what she wanted. And it was true, he would have been difficult to dispose of any other way than this. She winced, remembering the night before, hitting herself with the rubber hose to get the bruises to show Johnny to convince the poor sap Pete was a wife beater. She picked up her purse from the stairs when, she came, when he came down. While he tracked smoke into his lungs, looking at the raindrops falling down the window, she took out her own gun, rehearsing the story she'd tell the police. Yes, Johnny had brought her home. No indication of anything up to ward officer. But then he'd gone upstairs. She did a shouting. Yes, that's when she called the police. But then the shots, those awful shots. Some sort of argument that got out of control. Afterwards, he'd become like a wild animal, trying to force himself on her will. There were these bruises. She was lucky. Johnny hadn't suspected she carried a weapon. She took two steps forward. Johnny, she said, she needed to shoot him in the chest, from close, real close. It all had to look authentic. He started to turn towards her. She raised the gun and wondered what expression would cross his face as he died. Thank you.